Hi everyone, my name is Rose and I'm here to make a reaction video and uh, actually to talk more about uh, this video like uh, criticize some stuff most especially on the comment section of this video uh, the video goes that uh, Asian mom straighten his natural hair for biracial kids and um, actually I went to the comment section of this video and uh, it made me have a lot of things to say um, let me just show you a little clip about this video I'm going to do to go exactly at the place where the mom is straightening the hair just that clip we are going to go straight there and, uh, because uh, there's a lot of things and stories around the, the, the life, the, their lives and stuff but I just want to go straight to the point to the point where the mom is straightening the hair so let's first watch that 머리를 지금 이제 감았으니까 이걸로 한번 약간 펴보자 어떻게 하는 거야 이거 응? 켜지는 거야 안 켜지는 거야 So, guys, when you look at that video, most of the people who know what they're doing, they're going to first of all go straight on saying the mom doesn't know what she's doing, the mom is doing everything wrong, the mom this and that. But when I went in the comment section and I saw people who are following these people's story, the story of this woman, her husband or the father of her children and the children, because it happens that the mom has a page. She's a YouTuber. And uh, it got me to really want to discuss about this war, uh, uh, white moms white that and uh, african moms african that issue which was so much raised up in this video in this comment in this in the comment these people are blaming the dad for not doing what the mom is doing for not teaching the mom how to take care of these kids hair and uh, as an african woman who grew up in africa until the 26 years of my life I am here to tell you guys to defend the dad I am here to defend the dad yes what the mom is doing is all wrong but let us see both sides as an African mom and a woman until when I moved to US like 12 years ago is when i found out the beauty of natural hair is when i found out how to take care of natural hair is when i found out how to grow natural hair i have been 10 years natural this is my hair this is my hair this is what i've gained in the 10 years of me growing this hair but this photo here i'm going to put it here is how I was how my hair was before I started growing my hair. I didn't know nothing. I didn't know what to do. In Africa, we relax hair and braid hair. People who have money apply weaves. That is all I knew. In Africa, this is how we go to school. I'm going to put a photo here. One example of any like a kid that I'll find on the internet. This is how we go to school. In Africa, we are forced to cut our hair to go to school throughout our primary and secondary school. Let us say our um, from fundamental level to college. You start growing hair at university. So you enter into this reality where you don't know nothing 
about her first of all being relaxed or anything that's i'm talking about 18 years 19 years when you finish college it's the first time you're going to grow hair very few like out of the population of the school going uh, college and uh, a primary school uh, 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 students uh, like only five percent out of a hundred grow hair those are people taking children to international schools the rest we have to cut up our hair to this level you're seeing in this photo so tell me if as an african woman I learned about my hair yesterday. As an African woman, I started growing hair when I was 18 years. I've never had hair all my life. I had to cut like this because I was in school from age zero, let us say age two, eh, to age 18 and I entered the university at age 19, 20. How will an African man you know? People slammed that man. They went ahead of as far as as insulting him and calling him names. But if as a woman, I don't know what will that woman teach teach their his children about hair. First of all, those children hair is not even African hair. They are biracial. What does that African man know about biracial hair? That that man has to teach the woman so that he, she takes care of their children's hair. In Africa, men don't grow hair. A man who grows hair is a thug. A man who has dreads is a thug because we have cultural things going on in our country. So how can a man who has never had hair all his life on his head he has never seen his mama's hair because his mama's hair is always under a weave, a braid, eh? or a wig. He has never touched anybody's hair. Even just removing braids, most of the people who can, they have to go to the salon or gather some kids in the neighborhood, sit on the head and remove the braids. How can that man know? How can people really judge what they don't know? And most of the people who are insulting this man, are you white moms? Are you biracial moms? Because no African sister can go and insult that man for not teaching those children how to take care of their hair or their, their mom how to take care of their hair. That gets me to the point. Biracial moms, white moms, the moment you start a relationship with a black man, a real black man, not a, 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 even a biracial man, if you know that your children's hair might turn out to be kinky, please study the hair first. Stop giving excuses as of you don't know. We also don't know. We don't know what to do with our hair. Ten years I'm still struggling. My son was born with hair which is neither my texture nor my husband's texture his texture is more complicated than ours the extent that i was growing his hair when he made two years i had to cut off because it started hardening up and i didn't know what to do with it which means i knew about my hair all these 10 years but i didn't know nothing about the new texture i have just discovered on my son my daughter has my texture so I had to cut off his hair until when I YouTubed. I went and started asking and googling all the brothers who have hair like my sons. And of all the results that came out, I had to choose the texture of my son's hair. So that I know how to take care of my son's hair. And right now, after researching, after googling, YouTubing, I now know how to take care of my son's hair. Why don't these moms do this? How can a woman raise a child up to that age, up to that stage? When you have not at least approached a salon, I can even travel when it comes to something. I can travel in the city where their mom, they live in the U.S., isn't it? So in the city where there are black people, more black people, go to the sisters. I take my child in the salon. I tell them, my child is there. Just do everything that I have to do to their hair so that I learn how to take care of their hair. If today they come and bring me a white person's hair, I will not know what to do with it. 
because I had never dealt with that texture. But I will learn if I had to give back to a white cow, if that was possible. I could learn, I could go consult people, tell them to teach me how to take care of my child's hair. Stop, bl stop blaming the brothers, stop blaming our husbands, stop blaming your husbands, you white mans, please. You can, it's your role, it's your job. For us, where we come from, just a man dressing up uh, hair yeah, like uh, having a salon which is uh, like feminine and you take your female uh, people's hair. In Africa, it's even looked at as a, like a taboo. Very few are coming out eh, and uh, doing that. And uh, actually, women in Africa love it so much when their hair is done by men because it's kind of cool because it's new. And secondly, it's kind of they take more care and of uh, the person and the heart and everything than the women but it's something which is non common so how can a man who has never even touched in his mama's head inside his mama's hair know how to take care of hair to go and teach a biracial uh, uh, a biracial child or to teach a white mom it's our role no matter white moms you're attacking these males and what i'm seeing other videos also that's why i concluded to come and do this video by the end of the day to enlighten you that in africa we know two things actually three things straightening hair with a chemical braiding hair and weaving hair that's all we know the moment at 18 years we start growing hair to find a sister with natural hair you can take even out the whole population it has to be either somebody deep in the village who has no money to put a relaxer because in africa they find putting a relaxer to be poor but among LA people and people who in the city what like somebody who really has money to take they care of their hair and buy this and that you will not find them with natural hair out of a hundred it will, it will be like 20 percent so we are not the the the, the as the uh the african-american sisters learned they're the ones teaching us the black sisters you can't believe it you go on youtube you see how many youtubers are africans you're going to find the whole youtube like 20 15 percent where do they live? They live in the US, UK, or Europe, let us say, or Americas, eh? but not living in Africa, not even in Asia, to talk of where, what, what would they be doing there with, unless when they travel there to study or for other things to do or to marry there or because of relationships. So by the end of the day, my white sisters, we don't know us we don't know how can the men you know just know one thing that the moment you decide to have a biracial child research about how you are going to take care of your biracial child or children is here because that brother doesn't know if american men knows it but african men don't know don't know because american men is even in a, like a it, it, it's a, in their culture, man, it's okay for a man to do hair, a man to have a salon which is feminine, to plate hair, to braid hair, to do weaves. It's even like, hey, the, he think everybody wants to die a uh, hairstylist who is a man or whatever. In our culture, it's not like that. It's just coming in. It's just coming in the system. So you won't find any ordinary person. My father has never touched my head, not even my sisters, no uncle of mine has ever touched their children's hair. It's all, the all they know is when the hair is cut, at that stage I'm, I'm even showing you again here, which we hold up to 18 years of our lives, is the, the dads only scratch with it. I don't know, if I find that comb, I'll put it here, here or here. To just scratch, we do even call it in my couch, in my country, Uganda, a scratch. It scratch your two inches or one inch hair and the comb it. I don't know, I'm not even looking in the camera. So guys, it's up to your moms. Don't go and insult these men, they don't know. 
they don't know actually as African moms, you'll never find an African mom blaming African dad. That hey, you don't take care of their hair, you don't teach them, you don't, they don't know, we just know they don't know. It's our role, we have to teach them, we have to go around, find out how we can take care of our children's hair. So, we ourselves, we are still learning. Every day I'm learning something new about my hair, my own. I don't know how to take care of another person's hair. Sometimes I try out things in my own hair which I've seen the carriers do and they don't work out in my hair. Which means our hair doesn't have a system, doesn't have a, a, a way. But each one whose hair has a way and can adapt to yeah. something. But we can't use the same thing, all of us. Imagine a hair that complicated. Yes, natural hair is not complicated, but it's complicated because a product which works for so and so doesn't work for so and so. But you find white people's hair, everybody using that tresemme or that old uh, pantene, it's all those things. But it doesn't work like that. It doesn't. So, how can a brother know? So, that's all, guys, that I have today. For you today, it's a, a discussion that has been bugging my head. Each time I read those comments, I'm like, seriously, you guys, you're blaming these people for nothing. Maybe it had to take a sister to come and just defend these brothers and tell you the reality that even us women, we are still learning what to do with our hair. We don't know nothing. So imagine a man, a man, whom from the first person or girlfriend or what woman he has ever seen from right from college the college it was a, a one inch two inch we used to call them marine cuts eh? where it's a two inches up one brush level on the sides now you talk about somebody african no african man knowing how to take care of biracial hair and by the way that's not black hair, black people's hair. It's biracial texture. Not even I, as a black woman, you know what to do with our hair. I will have to fast it. YouTube, Google, research, go to salons and consults to know how to take care of a, a, a biracial child if I had one. I also don't know what to do with that much hair. I don't know what to do with a, such a texture. I have to fast research. How can you blame that ma that that mom now? Or oh, the, the husband, the people who are slamming and the insulting the husband. Even call him good for nothing, idiot. You don't know their lives. Just because you know little things they do. If a woman has time to spend on the internet, one even said in the comments that uh, the woman works so hard on the internet and the man does nothing. Do you know them? If somebody has, I have time to come on the internet, come and do what? Record a video, edit it and sit and start researching and seeing other people's videos. I cannot research videos concerning my children and know how to take care of their hair. If I learned how to take care of mine, can't I learn? If she works on YouTube, the husband also has a job he's doing. But it's not the, the money's role like to take care of the children when they have a mom, unless when a mom is not there. Because even if he does, as moms will not find that perfect, we'll still redo it. That's my African view. Thank you so much, and uh, see you guys in another video. That's all I have for today. Bye.